Now, this is seriously interesting. And, and I think it's going to split people's opinion, both fans and PGA Tour players. LPGA Tour star Lexi Thompson is teeing it up this week on the PGA Tour. Yep, you heard me right. She's teeing it up this week on the PGA Tour. Now, in this video, we're going to go through what the PGA Tour players are saying. And some of them are a little harsh. We then have her reaction to this. But also, how do her stats compare to a PGA Tour player? Because this will surprise you. Very, very interesting debate. Now, before we even get into this story, I want to say I think this is a very positive thing for golf because golf is going down the route of, we. I mean, I think of this as what the Ryder Cup and Solheim Cup should have been. They should have been played at the same venue at the same time on alternate days. That's what I think would have been an even better spectacle than what it was, and that's the way golf should be going. They should mirror each other, whether it's the week before, the same week, work it into the schedule. I think this is the way golf is going. But what do you think? Should an LPGA Tour player get an invite, because that's what she has had from the sponsors, Lexi Thompson, to tee up this week on the PGA Tour? I would love it if you get down in the comments. Let me know exactly what you think. I think it's a really interesting debate. As I say, I think it's a very positive thing for the game of golf. But I want to know what the consensus is here. So let's go through, before we look at even her stats, before we have a look at the average stats on the PGA Tour, let's go through exactly what are people saying. Now, this week, she'll be playing for a prize pot of $8.4 million when she tees it up at TPC Summerline this Thursday. Now, Malinati, one of the PGA Tour stars, I spoke out last week at the Sanderson's Farmers of Thompson's Invite. So this is really interesting. Last week, ahead of this week, ahead of tomorrow's start, Malinati had something to say about this. Now, on the face of it, it doesn't look very good. So let me go through this. Malinati said this. I just got a text this morning, so I don't know much about it. I don't even know. Obviously, I know that Lexi at times has been one of the top players on the LPGA Tour. She's obviously very athletic. Distance won't be a problem. She'll hit it far enough. My gut reaction when I saw that was like the tournament is reaching to try, just trying to drum up interest, okay? Trying to get more eyes on it. And this is what I think is great for golf. We should have co-tournaments where the men and the ladies play the same. They have two events, but they play at the same time. So we still have an LPGA Tour and a PGA Tour. They play at the same venue, play at the same time, just playing for two different tournaments. They've tried it on the European Tour, and it works like a dream. So he said this, though. This is when it gets a little bit interesting. I mean, maybe a passive-aggressive on the athleticness. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of maybe blowing that out of proportion a little bit. But he goes on to say this. I think I understand that. If, this, if that is the case, I don't think we're going to need to resort to some gimmicks to drum up interest. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know that having Lexi playing is a gimmick, but I don't think the tournaments are going to have to go to those kind of lengths to drum up interest and get storylines that they can sell because I think these events are actually going to have a lot of meaning. So I think he instantly regretted exactly what he said. Maybe he didn't actually mean it the way he did, but it certainly didn't come out very good. Now, he went on further to say this, interesting too. Like I said, change is hard for everyone at every level. So I assume if you're the host organization of a tournament, if you're the Century Club here at Jackson, if you're Wayne Sanderson Farms, you just don't know right now for sure what you have anymore because the fall tournaments have completely changed. I'm pretty sure that the fall is going to be a blockbuster hit. I think it's going to be very successful, but these tournaments, they don't know yet. So pretty much alluding that, I mean, this this sort of time on the PJ Tour, all the players are playing that haven't wrapped up their cards. You tend to see all the people towards the bottom of the money list or the points list playing. So you don't tend to see some of the big stars. They tend to take this part of the year off and then play something like the Hero Challenge. So maybe, again, he's alluding to the fact that Alexi Thompson could really drum up interest. Now, let's get her reaction to this because I think it's really interesting. And as I said at the start, 
Let me know exactly what you think. And we are going to go through her stats compared to the average PGA Tour player's stats. So this was her reaction. I think it's great. Playing golf and being a woman golfer, a top woman golfer, I wanted to inspire in general. So I wanted to inspire more people. That's why she took this invite. And 100%, it will. In a male-dominated sport, I guess I just want to show that anything is possible and that I'm following my dreams. I have done it since I was five years old. Spotlight since I was 12. You just have to block everything out and believe in yourself and go for whatever you want. I knew some negative comments were going to happen, she said, okay, which I think there will be a lot of negative comments when she tees it up this week, which won't be warranted. I'm out here playing a course with the men, but I want to leave a message just to the kids that I'm following my dreams and to go after whatever they want with a positive mindset and don't let any comment or reaction get in the way of that. And I think that's a great message. There's not enough of this in sport in general, but I think this is going to set and pave the way. I honestly think we're going to look back on this in two or three years time and say, yeah, you know what? That was the start. This is where we are now. Now, let's go through Lexi Thompson's stats. Now, before we do that, this is the PGA Tour averages. And I've just done this going on the PGA Tour website, finding them. And I thought it was a really interesting way just to sort of weigh up what her game is like to the men. Now, PGA Tour averages here. Average drives distance 299.8 that's the average drives now remember within that you're going to have the longest hitters in that but the average drive out of the people that played in the 2023 season is 299.8 okay the average driving accuracy 58.15 greens and regulation 65.54 now lexi thompson average driving stats is 270 yards point one her driving accuracy, which is way higher than the men, is 63.3. Her greens and regulation, again, way higher than the men, 68.1. So even though I know that the, the tournament and the courses may be a slightly shorter length, but her greens and regulation, her percentage fairways hit are going to be a lot higher. And what we tend to see in the men's game, right, the longer the guys hit it, the less accurate they are and the more likely they're going to miss the fairway. Okay, that's just a fact. That's what we see. Now, interestingly, her driving average would put her 186th on the driving stats list on the PGA Tour. But like we've seen this year, the likes of Brian Harmon, not one of the longest hitters, he was open champion. So it's not all about how far you hit it. There is definitely more to that in the game. And we've seen that over a season, right? I don't think this year we've seen just all the Bombers win. Exactly like I say, Brian Harmon being one of them. But I think it's a really interesting debate. How do they do this? I don't know. Is is it something that we're going to see more of? I hope so. But I would love to know your opinion on this. It's a breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, because that way I can keep you up to date with everything that's going on in the golf industry. And you never know, right? You never know when it's going to drop because news is breaking all the time.